Hey everyone, so you might have seen the recent short where I said I'm going to discuss secret ways to reach your goals without burnout. These are going to be mainly six, sometimes I add an extra one. Tune in to find out. Everyone. So let's talk about um, goals and trying to reach them without burnout. Sometimes when we're working on a goal, it can really take a lot of energy from us and it can be quite depleting. Um, especially if it's not aligned with certain areas that I'm actually going to discuss. So let's kick into that. Now, setting value-based goal setting is powerful practice to creating and achieving a goal or moving into an aligned dream or personal growth, etc. But the process of striving towards it and those transformation goals, and we're not just talking fitness, we're talking about anything and everything that you wish to achieve. It's essential to make sure that the goals themselves don't become sources of unmanageable pressure, something you don't own, enjoy, something that gives you anxiety, something that gives you overwhelm, and it, they can turn into that. So in fact, the best goal setting journeys are the ones that exist in harmony with the rest of your life, all right? And we're gonna go through these to help see how we can make sure they set and sit well um, within your life and achieving that goal. So, so that you can then achieve your dream, your goal, the outcome that you desire, whatever it is, how big, how, how small, it doesn't matter. But without burning out, without sacrificing your values, without sacrificing relationships, um, or becoming disconnected from the reason you set the goal in the first place, which often happens to us. So this is very transformative information, all right? And so if you want to work with me in terms of achieving any of your goals in life or transformation into your life's purpose and journey, you can reach out to me in the email description box. My website is also linked and we can have a consultation and see what package best suits you. Be ready with these to stop flip-flopping between uncomfortable stagnation, unmanageable burnout. Learn how to create systems of sustainable, empowered goal achievement within these secrets that I'm giving you, but also with the coaching that I will provide if you were to become a client and we work together. But for now, let's get into these secrets, which are six at the moment. Sometimes I digress and I do bonus ones. <laughs> Number one, make sure your goals, goals are aligned with values. The reason I say that is because when something's not aligned with our values, it's soon as we are excited with it, we soon start to hate working on it. We just don't want to work on it. It's not aligned with us. It will deplete you, deplete your energy, and you will then make it you will feel like it's a chore, all right? So it must be aligned with your values. Then as you're working on your goal, you need to, number two, is focus on incremental steps forward and celebrate the small wins. This is because sometimes goals take time. And if you're not seeing anything coming back to you, then you're like, okay, what's the point? All right, so you need to um, focus on the small steps so you don't become overwhelmed, anxious, whatever it is for you and then celebrate those small wins of what the small steps you've taken and even if you've had any small signs or synchronicities or wins that tell you you're on the right path and you're achieving it for example if it's fitness weight loss um uh, weight loss then there's certain the certain goals that you achieve in the meantime if it's to do with a um an audience or getting on a platform maybe there's some stagnation but then suddenly someone pops up gives you a comment and it's like yeah thank you number three ditch this thinking of all or nothing success right the problem is with the all or nothing thinking about success is that it's so far out, okay? And so while you're making a, amazing progress and you are working on your goals and you're putting your energy and you're hard work into it and you're focusing on also comparing yourself to the all person who's achieved everything, 
How is that going to make you feel? It's not going to make you feel good. And success doesn't have to be fame. It doesn't have to be the millionaire. Maybe that's what you want. But you can also live a comfortable life or achieve your goal at the level that you may need it. Okay. And so success is not about all or nothing. It's not about always getting it right as well. So don't beat yourself up about little hurdles that you face. Um, another no, number four, I would say, is set to cut off times, right? And honor them each day or each week. So this can be just to help you stay on track and you don't divert or digress. Like I make notes to try and stay on track more than... <laughs> more than imagine without the notes uh, to stay on track and so I don't divert because a lot of information interlinks with other stuff so this easily interlinks with being depleted easily interlinks with you know then falling down uh, self-esteem self issue worth issues etc so set off cut off times so that you feel organized you also feel like when that cutoff time comes, I've achieved it, whatever it is that you set, but don't set huge goals where then you know are gonna be a struggle. And then if you don't achieve them, you don't feel good. Set goals that are realistic for that time frame, for what you have during that day as well, and honor them when you can, okay? Like if it's a daily one, then honor it during that day and recognize yourself for it, which takes me to number five, reflect on what you've achieved reflect often on what's working what's not working and if need be adjust sometimes we put a goal in mind and when we want to implement it it doesn't fit how we thought it would with our life or suddenly in our, our life takes a turn and we need to still work on that goal but the way we were working with our actions and goals and maybe even money invested maybe it's time invested whatever it is is not working out maybe it's schedule maybe you wanted to go to the gym in the morning and that was your goal because your goal is around fitness but then something happens and you you started a new job that you didn't expect was coming through so now you're going to start your workout in the evening so you adjust your strategy still working on you towards your goal maybe it's about finances maybe initially you had a budget and plan an unexpected bill comes in takes some of that budget out so now you have to reflect on what's working what's not working adjust your strategy accordingly maybe you need to slow the pace down to achieve that goal just until you balance out your finances again so that's the examples in terms of adjusting and just reflecting what's what working what is working make sure you give it enough time to say it's not working or it is working and this is where it's really important if you have a coach they have a realistic point of view because they're they're the outsider do you know when you talk to somebody they're the outsider they can see it from a different point of view and obviously a transformation empowerment and life coach can see it from the elements of working with other clients qualifications their journey that they've been on hopefully their story so it's not only an outsider's point of view but they have the background to you know cognitive behavior they have the background to understanding how you work so for example i also look into human design um which means how you go about achieving stuff in your life in the best way that's fit for your body without fighting your body um number six is develop a clear process for identifying what you need to prioritize that's extremely important so when you know what the goal is, you need to know what you need to prioritize out of that goal. And then you need to know how you're going to prioritize it with other things that are going on in life. Because when we don't, we're running on like a rat race and we don't know what's happening. We're just in this whole routine. And sometimes we can easily digress from the goal and what is important. Sometimes we get di digress, uh, diverted and distracted by noise around us that we are working towards our goal but in essence it's actually um not do you know when you work towards something but the output of what you're working on is not substantial because you have not taken the time to really look at it but when you take the time you can see how actually i'm doing that towards my goal but 
really it's not going to give me the outcome I want. I need to look at it from this way. I need to readjust this to get to the priority of always achieving that by the end of the day, the end of the week, the end of the month, whatever your goal is. So that's really important, you know, giving your attention, deciding what needs your attention in any given moment is extremely important. Create the decision um, to help you externalize and automate frequent choices, okay? So this is what I have for you in terms of secrets for reaching your goals without burnout. I hope it helped you. If it did, give this a like, a thumbs up. Why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you, you get notified of all content? I'd also love to hear from my subscribers. Let me know what elements you'd like me to focus on even more so that I can just pour out content of what I know in those areas. What are you struggling with? What are your biggest difficulties on in life? It, you don't necessarily have to become a client. You can tell me in the comment box and I'll happily do a video on that. Happily answer your questions, whatever it is within the platform that I work on. And have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all in our next video. Bye for now.